This is a video on how to use the scene change detection mechanism in Speedgrade CS6. We're going to use it to actually bring in just one large clip that has edits, but we're assuming we're not getting an EDL for it or anything else that will allow us to put it into smaller pieces that allow for sharp matching. So here we go. I'm going to grab something from the Speedgrade desktop here and just um, really go through this. You can see this is a QuickTime movie, and it has edits in it, but Again, I don't have anything else that goes with it, so it comes in as one large piece here on the speed grade timeline. I can obviously immediately start playing this back and look at the material, but if I want to do some work on it, refine it, then obviously it's really helpful to see this as with original edits. So here's a tool in speed grade that allows to easily get there. So in the Timeline tab, just over here under Tools, you click on Scene Change Detect, and if you open it, it will actually immediately start doing the analysis. And once that's done, what you're going to see is actually an opportunity to even refine that if necessary. If it's something rather complicated in terms of the material, you actually might want to look at the individual edits. But typically, it's going to get most of them correctly. And then you're going to use either one of the two options that I'm going to show to you once uh, the analysis is over. But eventually, you're going to either split it into clips or you're just going to add keyframes to the timeline that you can use, and that's preserving a little bit more flexibility for you. So we're almost done here. So on a fast machine like the one we're using, this is actually really a rather quick process. And this is what you're going to see in the interface then. So if I just go through this, it's actually self-explaining what it does. So whenever you see a blue bar, this is when the analysis picked up a lot of difference to this frame as opposed to the one before and the one after. So let's see if that's actually true. I'm going to use the one that I use the most, which is split into clips. And if you look at the timeline, this is what it did already. So let me zoom in a little. So I'm going to switch to my master view here and really just zoom in at any given point in the timeline. So you can easily see that I have now individual clips to work with. And let's just quickly double check if it actually picked it up. Oh, OK, so there's a black frame insert. That was an easy one. This one, let's see. Yeah, lens flares. So it does actually a nice job. And you have an easy way in to work with this project, uh, even though we didn't have any information from an NLE. But it actually gets better. You even have an opportunity to use the information that we have created with the analysis and save out as an EDL. So if you hit Save EDL here in the Tools section, that's going to open a File Save dialog, and you just give it a name. And that EDL can be used in any NLE or other applications that are going to be able to work with that kind of information. And that's just a quick overview on scene change detection in Adobe Speedquate CS6.